Now is the time for the Gold Order, and I will brook no interference. Any who get in my way will see their armor run into lead goblets, their blades melt, and their bones turn to gold. Hello and welcome everyone, our heart here with part 7 of my Golden Order Let's Play with Balthazar Gelt, Total War Warhammer 2. We continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions. They're all greatly appreciated, do keep them coming, as well as those unit name suggestions via the QT that's linked in the description down below. As promised last episode, this is of course an hour special, so sit back, relax and enjoy an hour of Golden Order action. So picking things up where we left them last time, we're at the start of a new turn. I'm going to kick things off today by diving straight on in to Gelt's quest battle, the Cloak of Molten Metal. Actually, while we're on the subject of quest battles, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that Gelt is the only legendary lord currently in the game that has multiple quest battles per quest chain. He's got multiple quest battles for this quest chain, the Cloak of Molten Metal. I know he's definitely got some for his Amulet of Sea Gold too. But are there any other legendary lords in the game that have multiple quest battles? like Gelt 2, let me know down in the comment section. So the reward for this quest battle is 3,000 gold to our treasury and 200 prestige. Enemy forces are up against Mugger's Ungry Ord. There's a mix of goblins and orcs. And uh, also should mention, loads of you guys are saying, Lionheart, don't forget about your new steam tank, the Emperor's Wrath, that we got because we captured the Elect Count seat of Visenland. I would love to have it in for this quest battle, but unfortunately, even if we waited another turn, we still wouldn't have the 2,400 gold that's required to recruit it. Plus, it would actually break our economy at the moment because it would cost 963 upkeep and our income is only 884. So as soon as we can get that into Gelt's army, I will. But for now, we'll have to wait. So let's teleport over to this quest battle and jump on in and smash some orcs. In we go. We search for Gromril ore. These greenskins have it. Slaughter them and find it for me. And if the dwarfs should think we carry out vengeance for their kin, then let them. I'd rather make allies of the bearded ones than enemies. They hold grudges, and I have not the time or inclination for another enemy. There are greater, more pressing fates at work. Now, bring me the heads of the orcs, for I will have their skulls turned to gold, their eyes pierced with hot lead. They will truly know, searing doom. Okay, note self, do not upset Gelt. He will hurt you. Oh, and we get to actually deploy for this quest battle. Nice, not just thrown into it. Good. Now, if I remember correctly for this quest battle, the reinforcements come in from the left and right flanks. So, I need to keep... My eyes peeled for when they come in. I think considering we've got the Hellstorm rocket battery and the mortar, I'm just going to deploy as far back as possible. And then I can just blast the orcs um, at sort of the full effective range of my artillery for as long as possible. Uh, we could put the outriders up here with Gelt. And then he can bombard the orcs uh, with spells as they come through. The uh, sort of gully here, and then the outriders can sort of give him some cover. Good. Right, let's put spears on each flank, left and right, and hopefully they can hold off the uh, enemy reinforcements. If I put my free company over here, I'll have to probably put those spears there to watch. Watch for enemies. We'll have a center group of our swordsmen. Crossbows there. Good. Good. Great swords. Warrior priest there. Hellstorm. Pop you guys forward a little bit and then, yeah, you guys going to need to be tucking over there. Right, that should do it. Let's start the battle. Defeat the green skin robbers and claim the Gromril for yourself. Okie dokie. Now, what's my range? A sort of stone, so about there in the middle. About the same for Searing Doom. Ready to smite. Okay, yeah, we'll keep them there. I wonder if we can... Uh, if they get close, I wonder if we can snipe out that Orc war boss. That would be lovely. 
It's my range on my Hellstorm. Yeah, about there. Let's fast forward it a little bit. And they've got cavalry on the left. The Orc War Boys. Some Goblin Archers. And then over here, Orc War Boys, Goblin Archers, and Orc Biggins. You need to watch out for them. Back over here, have they got any Biggins? Yeah, let's focus on them with the uh, Hellstorm then. We can nearly do the Assault of Stone. We can get a good cluster. That would be lovely. Yeah, we can probably do it... There. I am master of let's get you guys firing on that old war boss. Lovely. Uh, Gehenna's Golden Hounds. Let's chuck you guys through there. Ow, ow, ow. Start running back with Gelt. More green skin raiders are pouring in from the passes. Oh, they've got an Arachnorok. Lovely. And chariots coming in from over here. Okay. Let's uh, turn you guys around like that. Bring down that old war boss. Pass that on him. Final transmutation. Lovely. That will melt him. Send our warrior priest over here. Hold you guys in a little bit. Bring him down. Bring him down. Bring him down. Bring that war boss down. Come on. You guys actually over here to deal with that Arachnorok. Warrior Priest, move on out. Use your Wisdom Land Rune Fang. Slow him down. There we go. Now they managed to hit the Free Company. Pretty hard. Guys, fire on it as well. Fire off over there. Focus on them. Pummel them there. Bring it down. Come on. See him off. Spears, get in there. I'll just wait for more Searing Doom. Come on, bring that Arachnorok down. Coming through here. Oh, they they broken. Quick match. Shoot them. Shoot her. Come on, break him. Ragnarok down. Nearly. Yes, General. The shaman. Moving on in. Uh, got a big old bunch here. Bring them down if we can. And you guys fire. You guys cannot. Right, the rock is down. You guys are breaking. That's it. Come on. Break them all. That's the stuff. See off the last of the spider riders. Oh boy. There we go. Actually, haven't lost that many men, which is good. Looks like we're taking quite a beating, but uh, just quite a frantic battle, this one. Come on. 
Last of you break, damn it. Get in there, Gelt. Chase away those spiders. Those guys are all gone. Shred their attack and weapon damage. Surely see them off. They've gone. Last one. Boom. And because it's a quest battle, we don't exactly need to chase them down. Lovely stuff. Woo! 481 losses. Not bad at all. Oh, we slaughtered them. Lost 1,530. Nice. 594 kills with that Hellstorm. Ah, oh. Worth its weight in gold for sure. 279 with the mortar as well. Yeah, well fought, guys. GG. GG. Good stuff. That's what we want to see. Thanks for the loot. Can you get any... It's all oh, so close to leveling up. Uh, yeah, pardon captives. Nice. No, so we get 3,000 to our treasury and 200 prestige. Obviously, we got some more prestige from actually uh, fighting that battle as well. So now 1,615. Good. Next part of the quest, move Balthazar up to Altdorf. Ah, that's frustrating because unless we get very lucky with gaining lots of fealty with the Empire and then confederating with them, we are uh, not going to be able to be doing that anytime soon unless we go to war with them which obviously don't want to do that that would uh that would not be good right we have to see if there's going to be a rebellion over at Schwarzhofen because uh if Sterling do end up losing it we can then just gr jump on in and grab it and then we've got a nice staging ground to launch on Castle Drakenhof the other option you guys are saying is that I would have to trespass against Sterling but is to make the sort of the, the push through the moot and go for Fort Oberstar, then we can come around, grab Tempelhof, and put pressure on Drakenhof that way. So we'll move my agents around to see what's going on there. In fact, I probably want to move my Witch Hunter out so that we don't end up helping uh, these guys out with uh, lessening the impact of corruption. Okay. Jogan Gorst is over there. So what's Fort Oberstar's Garrison, not great. That's good. Show me the accused. Keep bringing you round. Or in fact, if we're going to take it, start lowering that uh, corruption. We'll bring you round so we can see what's going on at Drakenhof. So yeah, either way, we want to get both my armies moving. So I guess we have you poised here. And we'll bring Gelt into Grenstadt for a turn or two just to get that extra replenishment. Then we can move on Schwarzhof and if, uh, if the public order is going to go negative enough. 12 turns. I don't really want to wait 12 turns, but uh, we'll see what happens over the next few turns or so. Um, don't have enough to get that steam tank, so what I'm thinking is we're going to get rid of some buildings in Avaland so that we can get more economic buildings uh, and what have you, and just more money to improve our economy elsewhere. So then we can get that steam tank for our push with Gelt. So let's demolish the armory and the gunsmith. I'd say the barracks as well. Don't really need it over here. Yes, we could get some extra troops for this army. But we can probably just get it through the elect count state troops soon. And again, at the moment, we can't afford all that. So, yeah, let's get rid of the... Mm, let's get rid of the barracks because, yeah, getting rid of that army is going to take out the top tier troops anyway. And we hopefully we can get it over at Norn soon anyway. Upgrade that for sure. Carrot Hearn. Yeah, upgrade you. And in fact, we're going to get rid of the barracks there because we won't need that for a while because we're not going to be able to go off the bloody hands for a bit. Not until we've dealt with the vampires. Plus, I don't really want to be going to war with the bloody hands just yet because they're strength rank 3 and they've got 10 regions. So they're really storming on through at the moment. So we'll leave that. We can upgrade that one. Uh, so I'm actually thinking if we don't do that Taylor's Guild upgrade, it's probably more worthwhile doing that to start with. That's good.
good. So how many turns do you guys replenish? Three, two... Okay, so we need to give it about three turns then, and, and then we can push. I refuse. With their relations towards the vampire counts is improving massively. I think it's because you guys said, actually, if we see here, um, they had treaties, I think. Some of you thought they had treaties. With the vampire counts. I can't see anything on... Oh, treaties with Sterling. Yeah, 17. We were thinking they had a non-aggression pact. I'm just hoping that the vampire counts see that they're kind of trapped in here and they need to go to war with Sterling to, you know, have any chance of it of expanding. Um, what was it as well? We're really close to level 12. One or two of you were saying, why didn't I go for my uh, my flying mount um, when I last leveled up? The reason why I didn't is because Quicksilver unlocks at rank 16. Uh, the Barded Warhorse and the Warhorse are both unlocked now, but there's no point, you know, putting any points into them when we're just going to go to the Flyer eventually, at least in, in my opinion. That's two wasted points we don't get back, so I'd rather spend those points on completing our yellow line here. Uh, so rank 16 for that one. Lawmaster, Law of Metal, that's worth getting, and then we'll start going through this top line as well. And then, yeah, Quicksilver. That's the plan for Gelt. Um, oh, you guys were saying as well, because actually, yeah, I should have checked here. 36%. We can give him the thug trait. Additional 10% success chance. Take that from uh, our warrior priest. So we need to assassinate, yeah, for the Amulet of Sea Gold quest. So we'll try and push that one along because we're not going to be able to do anything with uh, moving Gelt to Altdorf anytime soon. Right, I think that's all we can do for now. Research-wise, we're about to finish Colonial Factors. And we'll get Clergy of Sigmar. And then I think we'll probably buff our infantry and go through the infantry tech. Um, go through that next. I don't think there's anything else I want to get. You guys were saying, if I had the money, maybe going for Emissary to the Prince of Altdorf just to improve relations with the other Empire factions might be worthwhile. So that's always something to consider. Um, do we still have our... Purge the Fell? Or was that only for a set number of turns? Because we did that before, didn't we, if I'm not mistaken? The sharper is a thing here. Are you? Can't see it, or is it just in the background that we've got it? Or is it worn off? Right, let's end the turn. See what happens. We can't see what's going on at Swartz often can see that army over there at Fort Oberstar. So yeah, we'll, we'll just see which is the what option kind of reveals itself to us. Obviously, if Swartzhafen rebels and Sterling lose it, then we don't have to worry about any kind of trespassing penalty. Because the last thing I want to do is be going to war with the Vampire Council and have Sterling declare war at my back. But short of just sitting and waiting for ages, I don't think I've really got much choice if uh, if Schwarzhafen doesn't rebel. And also, got to remember the Empire is at war with the Vampire Counts, so eventually, given time, they'll probably send a force over here, so I want to avoid them grabbing all that land, because I'd like to grab it for myself. Because otherwise, if the vamp if we lose the option of going after the vampire counts, our option is probably to push through Blackfire Pass and go after the Bloody Hands, or go after Scarsnick and Crooked Moon. And I'd, I'd probably end up going to war with those dwarfs as well, just to grab all those regions there. So uh, actually, that might be interesting if if our plans against the vampires go completely tits up because we get outmaneuvered by the AI. Then um, you guys let me know what you think. Some decent sort of plan B strategies could be if uh, if we can't end up going after the vampire counts. Uh, also Mark Demand's region. Oh, this is good. We're going to gain some Imperial authority because you gain it when you when regions are returned. So we can demand Nagenhof's return. Return to Ostermark. It will upset Ostland. They're currently at 7, so it would be nice to get them closer to 10, but right now we want to gain Imperial authority. So demand its return. Good, good. So we're now researching Clergy of Sigmar, which gives us plus 2 untainted faction wide. Seven turns left on that. Ah, yes. The Black Mountains. There's going to be a rebellion. We should be fine dealing with it. They will They will come and attack us eventually. We could upgrade the tall walls. Savages. 
Oh, they're over there. Good to know. They might jump on off and attack us. That guardhouse in here. Probably. Let's put that in there. Let's go for... Can we do walls and can we do income? And can we still get that? Yes, we can. Boom. We can do everything I wanted to do. Good, 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 good. good. Um, we need to bring this agent back down here. We need to know where that other army went. Although, we could go have a little look with Gelt, couldn't we? So we're not going to get as much replenishment. Can I go close to it and still have 50%? 3%. There we go. We can now see it. Then we can encamp. Get decent replenishment. Minus 17, so five turns. Okay, that might be viable. That might be viable then. Waiting for Schwarzhafen to rebel. As long as it does rebel. Fall in, man. Okay. In the meantime, let's... Well, let's pop you in there to increase public order for a few turns. Because if this doesn't work out... Because I'm just wondering if it's just because they've got sort of newly conquered... As a, a sort of a penalty. That I can't see it showing up on there. We'll see. Five turns. And we can just push through to Drakenhof. But if not... My my current plan B is to trespass through the moot. And go to Fort Oberstire. And Manfred spawned on in. We've got a lot of Graveguard. I think we can take that army. And it'll probably be a turn or two before their other army can Tools of judgment reinforce. 46%. Let's try and do that. And that's done our quest. Lovely. We need to recruit a battle wizard. Right, yeah. Well, that, that's not going to happen for a Seek while. So I still don't have that tech. Uh, we'll go for specialist, though. By the comet. Uh, well done. I'll bring you to find out where that other army is. I'm assuming it's perhaps gone back to Drakenhof. Gelt. Yeah, so this is a barded warhorse, so it's not a flyer. So we'll go for Earthling, then Arcane Conduit, then Lawmaster, Law of Metal. Imminent Rebellion. Yeah, we've already looked at that. Uh, Steingart. Oh, yeah, we can upgrade your Taylor's Guild. Don't batch when you upgrade will give you walls. You're gonna have rebellion 13 turns, but you've got tier three walls, so yeah, don't need to worry about looking after you. Can't get another witch hunter, so let's end the turn. Let's see what fun goes down in Vampland. At least we're minus one imperial authority now that we backed the. Uh, return of that settlement. That's good. We're slowly clawing our way back out from the negative Imperial Authority. Good. Right. It's everyone's favourite time of the episode. And hard question time. So, first question today is, what's been my best campaign? For what I assume it's kind of, what's my, been my favourite campaign? Oh, Manfred's pulling back, which means Overstar is open. Very tempting. Um, favorite campaign, best campaign though. I think I can't just give one answer. I think I, in my head, I've got three campaigns that really kind of stood out just because sorts of units that were involved with the factions, the sort of story and narrative of the campaigns, and just sort of the events that happened within them. So for me, it's been my Ikit Claw series, my Colex Sun Eater series from Warhammer One, and uh, quite recently my Wolfheart series. I just really enjoyed uh, the narrative there with the with the hunters. So, um, which has been your favourite campaign, both uh, of my Let's Plays that you've watched, uh, but also your own campaigns that you've played. Let me know down in the comment section, and uh, if there's some good uh, sort of reasons why, I'll uh, I'll go through and share some of them next episode as well. I mean, I'd like to do a little bit uh, more of as well during these intern times as sort of bouncing back some of your answers to these questions. So keep them coming. Right, Rebellion of the Black Mountains. See the Orc. Oh, no, it's not orcs, it's dwarfs. No, I will not shame okay. Defeat Manfred von Karstein. I mean, it's definitely angling me towards going after him. Well, we definitely want to hope our... Our walls are done then. To deal with those dwarfs. I don't, so. I don't know how many turns it'll be before they attack us. Probably before that's finished. We could always sally out. Well, we'll, we'll, have, to, we'll have to see what happens. 
can't... I could bring you back to go and see them off, but we're going to push. And he's going to... Oh. Public order is stabilizing. So, well, there's not going to be a rebellion then, in which case we're going to want to go for Fort Overstar, especially while Manfred's pulled back over here. Why are you... Are you pulling over there to watch these guys? I think you are. We can jump into Fort Oberstire and then grab Templehof. That gives us a good place to secure our lands. We're improving. They actually approve that we're at war with the Vampire Council. So hopefully they'd improve. They'd approve our actions against them. Right, we've got to be ready to trespass next turn then. Stern's got an army over there. Henry, get yourself here. Huntsman General, we're there, covering ground. The trap. Go ambush. Ben, I'm going to get you to simulate... Gr mm, yeah, simulate growth. I was saying that works even when they're in armies. I can't damage walls because there's no walls to damage. Uh, you just you just stay here then and get that corruption sorted. And you move down here. Yeah, so they've got that. If they move in with both those armies, then we're in a, a spot of bother. So we're definitely... Once we take a Fort Overstar, we're going to want to probably set up one army in ambush. I don't know if we can reach it in a single turn. We might have to spend a turn trespassing in Sterling's territory, in which case we want to go into ambush dance so they don't see us coming. Otherwise, they're just going to jump over with a full stack and potentially potentially both of them. Which, uh, we don't have lightning strike with either of those guys. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, so I need to... Ah, oh, I'm not going to have enough money for my steam tank. We can just about afford it, but I definitely want to go into this with the steam tank. Um, we could get rid of a unit. Who are we going to get rid of? Probably free company militia. One of them. Also, I just realised that should be mercenaries, i.e. I get rid of that. Well, I, I won't have. Will I have enough money? Probably won't have enough money still. Are we gonna... We won't have built anything. We'll finish it off. Our balls. Well... Do not waste my potential. We, could always, we could always cancel the walls at Averheim, uh, Averheim I guess. The well, let's, let's get rid of you guys. So. In prep. I don't think we'll have enough of that steam tank. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, let's see what happens. End the turn. 1,725 prestige. Now oh, we've got a good stockpile. Could just do with a, a vent or two now. It requires 1,000 prestige. That would be lovely. Yeah, you disappoint me, Swartz, often. Why are you, why are you stabilizing so good? Minus 29. How are you holding off... Oh, military presence. You've got an army in there. That's that's why. If you didn't have your army there, then yeah, you'd be uh, rather upset. Oh, they tried to wound. Oh, they tried to wound, yep, yeah, my captain. And you succeeded at assaulting my garrison. Loki. Oh, no, he's come back. No, oh, that's fine. As long as it's not both armies. We'll bring both of my armies and we'll break Manfred. I mean, if we can take one of those armies out, it does mean that the counterattack won't be as strong. It won't be two full armies. Ambush was foiled. Sterling saw it as they moved away. I just don't know if we can reach Fort Oberstar. It'd be lovely because he's in forced march, Manfred, so he'll be tired. That would be good. Okay, sort of a little follow-up question to the, uh, the last question I asked. Um, which do you guys prefer, Vortex or Mortal Empires? For me personally, it really depends on the faction I'm playing as. Because um, some I prefer Vortex and some I prefer Mortal Empires. Sometimes Mortal Empires just goes on for absolutely ages and ages. But sort of others like Wolfheart and Nakai the Wanderer that have sort of more narrative based campaigns uh, on the Vortex at least, I think that sort of suits them better. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Rebuilder with Henry. Negative growth at Faldorf. Big question now is, can we reach... We can't. And I can't get my ruddy steam tank. 
Hunters. Ah, oh, so annoying. I don't want to move them. Right. It's kind of such a waste of such a little amount. Unless there's anyone that. True king, men of the empire. Get in a, a treaty empire. with. Greetings, my countrymen. You come in peace on this fine mark. I literally just want that much. Mm, damn it. What? But I don't know if I can recruit in. Do not greet me as a friend, nor are we foes yet. I don't know if we can recruit it in their territory. Ah, oh, so frustrating. Right, uh, Averheim, I'm probably going to regret doing this to you. need all the income we can get. Uh, Grinstat, you could be... Put, well, you shouldn't be put under threat. Shouldn't. It's because these guys are raiding me. If they weren't raiding me, I'd be fine. Come back. Should be that. We don't have enough money to do that. Sorry. Sorry. But Gelt needs a steam tank. So we've got to go and ambush so that we can strike it next turn. I'm going to go here. Very well. Sorry, Sterland. Yes, Minus 26. Does that increase if I bring another army? I'm wondering whether I should have you standing out in front so that... You go and attack him, but you may not do. And you may end up bringing this army over, which would be very, very bad. Huntsman General. But I think I'm going to risk it and move you. Oh, I can't actually move you anywhere near as far anyway. Move you there. Now, does that really upset Sterland? Oh, minus 36. Yeah. Might need to use some prestige to uh, sweeten you guys back up. Yeah, maybe I can just throw this leftover money at you. Yeah, like, just ignore so, the penalty. My hand hovers close to my blade. Yes, After yes, your yes. Before I raise it. Very well. Let's see if that does anything. Taking it down to minus twenty-six. Okay. I mean, if they if they go after me, then I'm I'm really screwed right now. A bit of war with the vampire counts and them at our back. Big 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 trouble. I mean, we're taking a risk with this rebellion as it is, but I think we've got to go for it. Yes. We've got to go for it. I don't have a good chance of wounding you. I oh yeah, I don't Ready. have enough money now, do I? Sir? Keep you there. Show me the accused. You've got to stay there to reduce the corruption. As much as possible. And yeah, we're going to hope that Huntsman this General. is a tempting target for Manfred to go after. Alright, here we go. We could use prestige. We've got to improve relations with Avalon. We've got... We've got over a thousand. We've got 1,795. Can't make an omelette without breaking some eggs. In this case, the eggs are Sterland. And the omelette goal is taking all of Sylvania. So here's hoping. Do we get a Manfred? Do we draw him in? <gasps> yes! Come on! Well, I want to see that steam tank in action, the Emperor's Wrath. So uh, we're going to fight this one. In we go. Oh, we're so happy. This is perfect. This is perfect. I've just got to very, very, very quickly smash the vampire counts now. The thing is, I'm probably not going to be able to go straight. Well, I don't know if I should still go straight. Oh, we're going to have to take Templehof after this for sure. But the bigger question... Is after Templehof, do we then just go straight for the jugular of Drakenhof? Or, or, do we, um, punk all the other regions first and leave Drakenhof till last? And I feel like we should take out Drakenhof as soon as possible. We need to, what we need to do is try and draw the other army out. 
Um, they're all here. I personally would love to link up with all my forces. I feel like that's the safest option. Let's have a look at the steam tank before I forget to look at it for the whole battle. It's blue. I'm getting some ultramarine feels here. Look at it. A lovely steam tanky boy. What's he got? He is burnt. Oh, so he yeah, burnt. Uh... Is it different? Like a kaboom, a different missile damage or something. Bonus versus infantry, armor piercing. Unbreakable as well. And what's this? Emergency vent. Oh, no. So it burns them around him. It does an explosion around him. Sweet. I think. Um, yeah, we, well, we could just clash with them. But I do want to minimize casualties so we can keep the push going as long as possible. So... What we should do is just form up here with them being in range of my Hellstorm so that they have to come towards me and then the reinforcements. So we'll go here. Steam tank there. Um... guys in the trees there. You guys in the t trees there. These guys are now part of the, the front line of infantry, the uh, free company militia. Ready for war. I'm at a slight little angle. Resorts. Pop those two together there. We'll have our spears. Watching the flanks. Outriders, if we can take out Manfred and then pull back, that'd be good. So we'll just work on doing that straight away as well. And yeah, reinforcements come down from behind. They're definitely able to hit. They are. Go, 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 go. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. Here comes the fireworks. Oh, yes. Burn them all. All right, we need to get our reinforcements down. Put on. Oh. Missile troops. Move to here. Mortars as close as you can. Still is over here. Oh, didn't mean to put it on double time. Grave guard. Cut across. Turn around to deal with those bats. Ready for war. Moving fast. Slow him down. There we go. Pull him back. Oh, yeah. Massive, massive damage. Try and bombard a load of them there. Steam tank, engage and bring Manfred down. Loving the uh, the black smoke fart that he now does, and he's down.
Blast all of them. Take out those fell bats. You guys push forward. There we go. Push through, steam tank, push through. Actually, go over that way. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is grand. Great swords, get in there. Cut those zombies down. Corpse cart, bring that down. Ready for more. Bring it down. Hellstorm rocket battery. The Empire is yours. Sir, They're all a crumbling. We serve the Emperor. Outriders. Thanks for your vampires. There's nothing left of them when you defeat them because they all crumble down. They're all going. Bring it down. Blast them. Boom. Take There's the mass crumble. This day. Living are triumphant. 270 lost. Yeah, that, that, that went well. That went very well. Guilt is pleased. No turning of anyone's bones to gold today. Happy Gelt. Lovely stuff. Pardon captures at a five percent casualty. I mean, yeah, considering how Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pardon captives, thanks. Are they going to move that other army over there? I'm not going to fast forward it until uh, I know where they are. We've got to move on Tempelhof quick. Fortunate. Good. That army is going to head on out. Is it going to go to Fort Oberstire? No, it's going to go Tempelhof. Hmm. They're going to build up that force very, very quickly. Moonslaker. Oh, that's because, yeah, we defeated Manfred, so... Patrician minus 50% casualty suffered from Van Pick. Patrician, that's very useful that we got that so early on. Excellent. Oh, yeah, we got, <laughs> I forgot we had that Battle Masters one. Well, that, that worked out very well. Good, good, good. So what do we get now? Plus five leadership. Okay. I think not. And problem is they're gonna have Tempelhof's Garrett. Mm, Tempelhof's Garrett's not that great. Still building up very, very quickly though. It's fine because I can't actually. Let us begin. I can't get um. What does the Emperor bid? Get past to there. Um, I feel like Gelt should go into the fort and then we bring these guys in to enforce. Do not waste my potential. Probably, I'm thinking we could like this and have like zero casualties, most likely. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight it, just to ensure zero casualties, ideally, so we get maximum replenishment. After this, probably no well, settlement. So yeah, we'll just um, just occupy. I won't pardon any more caps because we don't want to take any more of a hit to our replenishment. Uh, gamble 12. Yeah, go on then. Pays to gamble. Oh, what I might do is just have that steam tank out in front, just blasting away. Ready, General. All my missile troops can sit out in front. For Great 
That's just sit either side. Yelp, you're pretty weak, so I don't want exactly them to leech you. Outriders go there. Take out the fell bats. He's a wizard, yeah. A spirit leech. Do not want Gelt being spirit leech, so go hide in the trees. Triple speed it. Bring down the bats. Now go for her. Swordsman. Yes, sir. Pick them off. Charge forward, steam tank. Ready for war. Do a salt of stone over there. They will never move again. We crush those zombies. Now they're gonna run away. Oh no! Hellstorm! Don't hit my own dudes. No, they're all gone. Boom. Lovely! That's what we want. Lost five. That's alright. Take it. Nearly got away with it, but uh, yeah, no kills by the enemy. It was all friendly fire. Thanks, Hellstorm. Right, yeah, occupy. Messenger campaign map. Move range, Sterling's revenge. What's the quarry? Oh, now that we've taken it, we can actually push on to them. It was that acting as a blocker. I think what we've got to do is get you guys into ambush then. Ah, but you'll take attrition. Unless we go into encamp stance, I think. Is it worth doing? Probably not. We'll go 53. And encamp. Who calls? You definitely need that in there. Um, you're, this is more about an income province, so for now I'm going to demolish that. Is it time? We can give you that and that if we really wanted to. Do it next turn before we push. Yes. Got more units. 13, Arcane Conduit for you, Gilt. And ben. We'll go for more replenishment. Yes, please. Perfect in this scenario. Good, 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 good. Corruption conquest. Yeah, it's now we've got to hope that no, we can deal I'm with uh, Argrim Silverthorn. Otherwise, I've miscalculated. They're going to surely attack the center face, so we're not going to get those tall walls in there. Hey ho, we had to go for it. Come back. Yeah, I need to get that in there. Yes, General. Um, none of you guys can. Oh, we can block them. I refuse. Can we take that army on with Gelt? Never. I trust no. We should we should try and we should try the block. Report. It was a failure. Is it time? My order agrees. By the uh, you improve public order war. wherever you are. Let's bring you in over here. I can't wound you. Pick up the any success. I am a a little bit more there, but we need him in there replenishing. So, we've got plenty of prestige. I think just so that we don't get pulled back, I am going to spend some on uh, Sterland. Improve those relations. 
Oh, because, yeah, we're now still, we've still got 2,000 anyway. I mean, I could go to push it again. I might do it next turn. I might do it next turn. Because if we have another battle, then we'll get more prestige. And we're well above our sort of safety, safety net threshold of stockpiling up as much prestige as possible. Good. Um, another question. <laughs> now the Lionheart's question time. I should have a little jingle. Hello, Empire. Coming to help. Coming to steal the territory. That's what you're doing. Um, this is quite a specific question to this campaign. And Manfred wants peace, I guess. <laughs> of course you do. No. Death. I want you to walk slowly so I can see where you're going. Are you going to... No way. You're going to come in with both armies. You are, you absolute. Oh, you smart boy. Yeah, that's the way to do it. <laughs> I was about to say, you absolute fools. Yeah, seize me with the... Oh, yeah. That is the way to do it. Didn't think about that, did I? Oh. What am I going to do? Can we? They've got a Vargulf coming. That's a lot of uh, cavalry as well. You sneaky, sneaky, sneaky Helmand Gorst. I guess Gelt is wounded, but can Gelt deal with all of that better than this army? I've got the mortars, remember. You know what? I think we've we've got to we've got to fight this one, even if we end up losing, which would be a shame. We we yeah we've we've got to fight this one to bring down as many of these guys. But I should have recruited those extra units. We've got the mortars. They're attacking me. Vargulf is going to be nasty. We need to take. Uh, well, that's, we need to take the high ground. We need to get as far away from that Vargulf as possible. So we'll start over here. They might just wait for their reinforcements, but yeah, let's go corner it a bit. No missile troops, so gotta remember that. Gotta remember that and use that to our advantage. It's the enemy cavalry that really worries me. Yeah, the question I want to try and ask you guys during the intern phase is, um, will I confederate with Wolfheart? And uh, the answer is, I would like to. I just don't know if I'll get the opportunity to do so uh, in this campaign. Just because he might be dead by the time we get to him. But that is very much my plan. All these guys round. At pace. Yeah, if we can get. No. So you guys need to harass. But what I'm hoping we can do is oil flask them. with everything you've got. I know we shouldn't be charging with infantry. But if we can tear down this uh, this cavalry quickly, then I think we might be okay. Although the Vargulf does terrify me as well. 
those black knights if we can those crossbows round watch those flanks they're going to press on everything they can ghouls nasty nasty things Gorf we've got to deal with as well. Get through, get through, get through. So I need to slow it down and then try and take take it down. Probably going to use the Avalan Rune Fang on it. Move for that Grave Guard next if you can. Huntsman. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. We've got to deal with all those guys. Boom. Mortars do your hits over there. Harass, harass, harass. Pull back, pull back, pull back. That's more great swords there. Struggling over here. Oh, dear. struggling over there. Fire, 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 fire. Ready for war. For the twin tailed comet. Water. For the twin tailed comet. Fire there now. Cavalry's crumbling. Can you guys fire on Helm and Gorse and bring him down? No. So bring these guys down. Secure this flank. Charge in there. Try and level Gorse down. Then get him out of there and use his arrow on Gorse. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. Quickly, do your arrow, do your arrow, do your arrow. Come on. Twang it straight at him. Prime. 
Executing. Whippers at the ready. Sir. Right, we're gonna we're gonna lose it. Fine. Because we're now with Gelt, we can deal with uh, all of this. Actually, if I can, is is he alive or is he taken out? I don't want to kill Gorst. Tell you to retreat. I don't want to kill Gorst because then it's going to be so much easier to take him out. No, oh, he's down anyway. Okay. He's to take out his army next turn, but they're going to have a fresh lord. Taking the morale hit, but we don't have enough units. I think even with those two extra units, mm, maybe, 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 maybe could have done it. Hoping we will be able to retreat from this. Probably into Sterling territory. Oh dear. It's fine, it's fine. Gelt can, can deal with these guys. I don't know, we don't have... I don't have enough to break them and finish them off now. That'll be it. There we go. Let's just hope some survive. It was a valiant defeat. They lost 1,215. Oh, boy. That looks like actually most of them have survived. Depends if they chase us down or not. 415 remaining there. Gorse got 827. And there's 134 of the other four still remaining. Hoping we can pull back. Okay, no, we did lose our spears. Yeah. They've lost a lot. Not engaged. Oh, we're seriously just in Serlin territory. They're pulling back. He's breaking off that siege. Gorst is now... Oh, what's left of Gorst's army is doing something else. Can't see him now because we've moved away. I think, though, that army's just sitting there and we can go finish it off pretty quick. I think we are going to be fine. By the looks of things with the Empire coming, though, we need to move fast before they go and grab more territory. Um, territory that currently the Vampire Counts have, obviously the Empire are going to want, so we've got to grab it quick. We've taken out both, well, we will have taken out both of the Vampire Counts armies. They can start sieging us? Probably. Take it back from the dead. Temple. Yeah, that's that's my plan, actually. Do you take me for a wazak? We can get the tall walls. I don't think we can win if we sally out against that. That's some that's some powerful dwarf boys. We're probably gonna have to wait till they attack the walls. How long until we start taking attrition? That supplies in eight turns. We might be able to raise little force to deal with that. What does the Emperor Who have we trespassed through Sterland? Sorry, Sterland. Right. Well, that is where we're going to wrap things up for now. But we can go and smash Roland down quite nice and easily. I think smash Roland and then we can probably get over to Templehof and grab that. On march. Yes, General. Pop you there. Move. Let us Bring move. you over here. Yeah, that's it. So it's just that garrison at Drakenhof that we'd, we'd need a full stack to be able to hold it in case they sallied out. We've got to move quick. Got to move Huntsman quick. General. You can jump into Fort Overstar and then recruit up. So we will pick things up with Gelt. No, they're going to run. Is that is, is annoying. Because if I go after that, Gelt won't have enough movement to get over to Templehof. But will the Empire go and take them out? We're next. You guys could turn back. The thing is, can I? I must be able to get two regiments renown, or regiments renown, um, imperial, or elect to state troops rather. Yeah, those two can go. Can both go in. Is that going to be enough to, to hold? Because the garrison... Oh, is it full strength already? Oh, in that case, then then yeah. In which case, Gelt... Well... Try and damage those walls for me. Success. Nice. 
cleanse more corruption for me. Gelt then goes to Temple Hoff. Oh, and absolutely smashes his way through it. 216 lost. Occupy it. We get that reward as well. You jump into Fort Overstire. You grab that and that. Oh, we can get more than one Emperor's Wrath. Oh, wow. You recruit them in. Plus, we, we could always throw these Regiments of Renown in as well. I think for now, just because we're going to need all the troops we can get. Let's do that. We need infantry. So spears, spears, spears. Boom. So even if you guys come on in, us plus the garrison, we're fine. But I imagine the Empire's going to take you out. We then need to decide whether we are going to go and grab Eshin. Or whether with Gelt, we push straight to Drakenhof. It is a single turn. I think we can probably make it there. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Right. Lawmaster, Law of Metal. Grab that. Then we start going Golden golden Face Mask. Next level, rank 15. And then rank 16, it's Quicksilver. If we go straight for Drakenhof, we can have this army supporting in a couple of turns. By that point, will they... Will the Empire have got over and taken Eshin? Hmm. I don't know, but we'll have to find out next time because that is where I'm going to wrap things up for today. Oh, we finally managed to make our breakthrough. We can probably do another lift against with Sterland here. Improve relations. Yes, we can. Now I'm done for the turn. I absolutely promise that's the last thing I do. <laughs> hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to comment rate and subscribe follow me on facebook and twitter take pride on the legion check out my affiliates and sponsors games planet overclockers uk and qt till the next one ciao for now